So before we continue, let's set up a path alias so we can import files using root, which means the root of our project. So if you have nested imports, you don't have to do the gymnastics with uh, traversing your file structure and so on. You probably know what I'm talking about. So you can set up as many of path aliases as you want. So for example, you can have a components, a styles, path alias and so on, but I prefer to keep it simple. And I'm using the dollar prefix because that's what Svelkit uses. And if you're using Svelkit, you don't have to set this up. It's going to be set up for you automatically. And I think they use the lib one by default, but also in there you can change it. And what's awesome about Pave Alias is this isn't something specific to Svelte or Wheat for that matter. If you're using React or any other framework, you can easily set up Pave Aliases and they're awesome. So let's quickly set that up. So if we go to the Wheat config.js, let me just hide this. So we can import the path module, if I can type from path. And then we just need to add a resolve option. And reading, I have to say, reading the Vite documentation is a bit cryptic. Let's say, for example, I just want to show this for example. If we go here, let's say get started. And let me just look for alias, right? Alias. Yeah, resolve alias. So this is what you would see in the documentation and this is kind of hard to understand. Like, what are they talking about? Like there, I wish there was more examples in the V documentation because if you don't search for it around, you won't figure out how to set this up yourself, trust me. <laughs> but yeah, it's basically saying, it's like an object, so resolve and then alias is nested and then it gives you an option, but anyhow, I'm not going to go on a tangent. So yeah, let's go back here. And as it says, like resolve, right? And this is awesome, TypeScript already proving its worth. So you can say resolve and you can say an object and we say alias. Thank you TypeScript, you're so awesome. And then we can define our path alias, right? So it's going to be root, but this can be anything, right? So you can say banana or you can even change this. It can be at banana. I don't know why you would do that, but okay. Uh, so we can say path resolve and then we want to say what it should be. And that should be source, right? So let's save everything. And this is a step if you're using TypeScript. So in the post I say, if you're using TypeScript, you also need to let the TypeScript compiler know about this. So if you look at our file structure, we can see the here is tsconfig.json. And let me just place the base URL here. Yeah, let's just set paths and then we can start an object. And then we can add dollar sign root everything after root and then we can also say we have to use double quotes you can say source everything and then typescript won't complain when we import files and it's going to give us awesome auto completion 